Doing a provisional estimate is no longer the quick and carefree task it used to be in the past. Provisional estimates today require a lot more diligent work to stay within the law and avoid penalties. Medical costs could reduce taxable income in the past, but medical costs are now converted to tax credits and no longer have any effect on taxable income. Today, estimating taxable income is the easiest part of a provisional estimate calculation. Working out tax credits for foreign tax claims and also for medical is the difficult part today. If you watch the video on foreign investment income, you will see how Wintex will calculate how much of foreign taxes deducted offshore you are allowed to claim. While underestimating taxable income on a provisional tax estimate can lead to penalties, claiming too little taxes already paid means you are virtually giving SAS a free loan. With the introduction of medical tax credits, SAS ties these medical tax credits closely to your primary rebate, so when you subtract the primary rebate from the tax due on the estimated taxable income for the full year, you must also subtract the estimate of medical tax credits for the full year as well. When it comes to claims for medical, the provisional tax screen in Wintax has a new calculator to help you work out exactly what you can claim for medical tax credits on a provisional tax estimate. Once again, claiming too little tax credits will not only mean you'll have to pay more tax on your provisional estimates, but you'll only get this extra tax you paid back when you do your assessment. Let's have a look at the new calculator on the Wintax provisional estimate tax screen. This is the provisional tax estimate calculator in the Wintax software. We only have to enter the amounts in the white fields and the program will calculate all the amounts needed in the yellow fields. Remember that we have to enter an estimate of taxable income for the full year even when doing a provisional tax estimate for the first period from March to August. This is so that SARS can tax us according to the income bracket applicable to the taxable income for the whole year. Wintax will work out what amount of tax would be due on our estimate of taxable income for the full year. I've also entered that this taxpayer had two medical aid beneficiaries for the whole year and the program has calculated tax credits of 6864. From the amount of tax due on the taxable income estimate for the full year, the program must subtract the primary rebate and our estimate of the medical tax credits for the full tax year. This gives us the tax due for the full year. When doing an estimate for the first period, we then use half the amount of tax and from it we subtract any tax already paid in the first six months of the year. You see, the reason for claiming medical tax credits for the full year when doing a first period estimate is that because SARS ties the medical tax credit so closely to your primary rebate, you can subtract the entire primary rebate and the medical tax credits for the full year from the tax due on the taxable income for the full year. Looking at this first period estimate due by the end of August 2016, you can see that we've entered 360,000 as an estimate of taxable income in this example. Let's say that 360,000 is made up of 300,000 Rand salary income plus taxable 60,000 Rand contributions paid by our employer to our medical aid fund. Remember that if the estimated taxable income amount we enter here is to include any income by way of foreign dividends, then we must only add 15 over 40 of the total foreign dividend income expected for the tax year in with our estimate of taxable income. Have a look at the lecture on foreign investment income to see what I mean by the taxes source will allow you to claim. It is important to claim any pay as you earn deducted in the first six months of the tax year plus the annual allowable foreign tax credits in the full tax year estimate. Clicking on the MTC calculator button opens the calculator where we can enter the total of medical aid fund contributions paid by the employer and the taxpayer. 
I've entered 60,000 Rand contributions plus 2,000 Rand code 4020 out of pocket expenses. You can enter these expenses as code 4023 expenses if the taxpayer or one of the dependents suffers from a disability handicap. Let's close this calculator. You can see that the calculator has converted the medical aid contributions and the out-of-pocket expenses to additional tax credits of 1,886 Rand. The tax on our estimated taxable income of 360,000 for the whole year is 81880. From this 81,880, we subtract the primary rebate of 13,500 and we subtract 6864 tax credits for beneficiaries and we subtract 1886 additional tax credits. This reduces the tax for the full year from 81880 to 59630 for the full year. Half the amount of this tax due for the year is due now and the other half must be paid by the end of the tax year. This means 29,815 Rand is due at the end of August 2016. We have already paid 29,000 in pay as you earn in the first six months period from March to August, so we need to pay the shortfall of 815 Rand for this first period estimate. Note that SAS's formulas for converting medical expenses to additional tax credits favours taxpayers under 65 with lower taxable incomes and higher medical expenses. In this example, if we had to increase our estimate of taxable income to 500,000 Rand, then the calculator will show no additional tax credits for medical aid fund contributions and medical expenses. The formulas used by SAS and Wintax to convert the medical aid fund contributions and out-of-pocket expense amounts to additional tax credits are quite complex and to see the actual formulas simply click on the blue I for info text button on the right hand side of the screen. Also watch the video lectures on 2017 medical claims. It explains the workings of these formulas in detail using multiple examples.